good morning. It is now mid-morning. I just finished hiking Garfield Ledges, and now I am on my way over to Stegosaurus Butte, which is a butte here at Middle Fork um, in the North Bend area, and it is my favorite type of trail because it climbs a thousand feet in under a mile. It is 2.2 miles round trip with over a thousand feet of gain, and that gain happens basically in one steep push to the summit of this butte. Um, I'll include a shot of it. I got a shot of it from the Garfield Ledges so you can kind of see what it looks like from distance because it's kind of a cool little geologic feature, but huh, you know, I wanted to get a couple of trails in today because I have this beautiful crystal clear weather, so I'm excited to get the view at the top um, and get a good leg workout in. It is still freezing here, so I'm gonna get moving to warm myself up. off of the Middle Fork Pratt River Trail and now I'm on the steep boot path up to the butte and ha ah, yep I mean this doesn't change this is why I'm doing it but I am excited because we have a clear day so the view is definitely going to be worth the grind <laughs> but yep it starts off steep and gets steeper there's like a 50% grade up part of this so huh. first I should make it through all this mud so <sighs> and keep climbing Now, I'm starting the really steep part, so it starts off steep and muddy, and then it basically gets steep and rooty. <laughs> but that means I am halfway up, but I still do have the hardest part left to go. <sighs> but I am excited. This is definitely warming me up the way I need it to, so. Uh, yep, so this right here is probably the steepest section. Just go straight up. Um, and then after that, it starts to even off. Um, the way I measure if you're close to the top of Stegosaurus Butte is if you start seeing a bunch of Salal, um, you are, oh, you're almost there. So these plants, if it's just a few, you're not quite there yet. But when you start seeing a lot of it, then you know you're near the top. Um, and I'm starting to see a lot of it up ahead, so almost there. Woo! And uh, yeah, there's a good look at the, the way I just came. 
<sighs> nice and steep. Top of Stegosaurus Butte, and look at this view. Um, there are a couple of viewpoints, so there's the one on this side, there's the one on the opposite side looking the other way, and then I'm gonna go over that way towards the sun where the true summit is. So, got a couple of things to do up here, but I'll show the view from this side. This is the beautiful Mount Garfield, and uh, Right down there, that little rocky knoll there, that is where the Garfield Ledges were, uh, are, where I was this morning. And then I came down, came down the valley and climbed up this steep thing, but, oh wow, Mount Garfield looks really cool covered in snow. And I mean, it's not even that covered in snow because it's very steep cliffs, but it's a cool looking mountain. <sighs> but to the other viewpoint now. And this is the other viewpoint. And I think this one is my favorite. It is got these rocky ledges and just this amazing view of the Middle Fork Valley behind me. So this is the Middle Fork Valley. You drive up this, you can't see the road, which I like, so it makes it feel very remote. And then these beautiful mountains. I don't know the names of these two. I think. That might be Green Mountain. I'll have to double check. And then this mountain over here, let me see. This is the pulpit, I believe, and Preacher. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, saw those from the ledges as well, but. And also, on this ledge is one of my favorite trees. And it is this little baby, little baby pine here. He's so cute. He's not, he's not doing too well though, but I love, I love this little tree. It's so cute. Anyway, um, I am going to relax here and enjoy the sun and then keep on and tag the true summit and get the final viewpoint before heading back down. I'm heading over to the true summit of Stigsaurus Butte and um, the other viewpoint and it's the least traveled part of this trail because a lot of people turn around um, at those other two viewpoint ledges back there and don't continue so it will be worth it for the peak bagging purposes and to get a good view. Um, Mostly 
peak bagging purposes are important. <sighs> This is the final viewpoint, and I guess what this one offers is unobstructed views of Preacher and the pulpit, and probably the sheerest drop-off, um, and also probably the most privacy, because um, I don't think a lot of people come further past the first two, so this is probably a good one. I mean, I've never seen another human on this trail it, it it does get done but you know it's not popular enough that you ever have to worry about crowding not a lot of people want to scramble up roots at a 50 degree angle to get on top of this thing but i think it's worth it this is an amazing view of these mountains <sighs> oh my gosh feels feels really good and feels good to see this one finally i really like the way the sun is coming over the top of that mountain but uh, I am going to start heading back and probably won't be filming too much because it's a pain to go down this thing and I already filmed a lot of footage of these mountains so uh, and it's also a very short trail to finish but uh, this is amazing. Sorry I realized I have the sun in everybody's face but <laughs> Stegosaurus Butte! Woo! Yes. And this little rocky ridge thing that I'm on right here this is the true summit where this this tree tipped over, pulled up a bunch of nonsense, but this is the true summit, huh. the high point on Stegosaurus Butte, done. <sighs> Well, that is the Stegosaurus Butte, the return. I've done Stegosaurus Butte before, and I've done it actually times that I haven't even filmed it. Um, I seem to just like punishment, but that is Stegosaurus Butte on a beautiful clear day. It really isn't going to get better than that, and as a, much of a pain in the butt that thing is, I love it. It has everything I want in a trail. Stupidly hard, steep for no reason, and no other people. So that's my idea of a good time. Also amazing mountain views, like it, it has everything. That being said, I don't necessarily recommend it for a beginner because it is a little route findy. It's definitely a little bit scrambly in places, especially if you're short like me, and it's not a maintained trail, um, and it's also cliffy and stuff. So for a beginner, and if you want to explore the Middle Fork area, there are a lot of very beautiful maintained trails around here where you can see a lot of the same stuff. I would recommend Garfield Ledges if you are, you know, not wanting 
to get into some crazier stuff, but if you are looking to do something harder and you want to spice things up, then Stegosaurus Butte could be fun. But I definitely recommend having navigation and stuff and probably don't bring kids or dogs and stuff on this one because, yeah, it's a bit cliffy and it would definitely be hard for them. Um, anyway, I had an amazing solitary experience here at Middle Fork on a beautiful January day. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, couldn't have asked for anything better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy.